ticket shopping bill seems to be growing each week. That's because the price of your weekly shop is rising at its fastest rate for two years. Apparently. But there are actually ways around this as well, and with her guide to how you can save at the supermarket, it's our financial expert, Sarah Willingham. I need a dollar, dollar. Actually, let's face it, it is all about the money, and I'm going to show you how you can get more of it. My name's Sarah Willingham, and I know exactly how to help you boost your bank balance and put some weight in your wallets. I am tired of listening to loud, in-your-face jargon. I'm going to keep it clear and simple and help you save some serious cash. Ooh. So here we go. This is how you uh, you save the cash. We're going to start with uh, with supermarket shopping tips. I read these through this morning, and there were some that I sort of knew, and there were others I thought, well, that's clever. You see, that's the I thing. A no lot idea. of it, and a lot of it's common sense. But mm. the fact is, is that these supermarkets are run by really clever people that spend every minute of every waking day trying to come up with new ways to entice us to spend our money. So we've gone around the supermarket this week to come up with some clever tips on showing you how, exactly how they do it. I know it's it. an art form running a supermarket. It really is, isn't it? It's mind-blowing where you put the it's products. It's impressive, actually, how they, how they kind of totally. sell at it's, it's a prices. science. It is yeah. a science. So, uh, so we've got your, uh, your supermarket shopping tips. Yep. Here we go. First and most important tip is always take a list. These supermarkets are designed to make you impulse buy. You see, look at this. I've just walked through the door and already they're tempting me with an impulse buy. Lovely, soft lemon muffins. Are they on the list? No. Put them back. Now, no wonder we're all confused about pricing. Look at all of these tomatoes. Some are priced individually, some by the packet, and some per kilo. Now, don't be fooled by these. They might look like a market stall, but they're actually not the cheapest here. My tip, check the price per kilo. And in this case, these packet ones are the cheapest. These are going in my trolley. Watch out for supermarkets putting exactly the same products in different aisles at different prices. Take these cotton wool buds, for example. I'm here in the women's skincare section. 87 pence for 200 cotton wool buds. And now here I am in the baby section. And look at this. 200 cotton wool buds, 35 pence. That's a saving of over half price for exactly the same product. Supermarkets can be very canny about the way they lay their products out in store. Quite often, the most profitable items are stored at eye level. So next time you go shopping, look up and look down for the cheapest products. Supermarkets deliberately pump out these divine smells to entice you into buying. So my tip is never shop on an empty stomach. And a word to the wise, as a mum of four, never shop with hungry children. Disaster. This is another example of very clever retailing. These end of aisle offers are not always the best offers in store. This is the most expensive place for brands to put their products. Somebody has got to pay for that and don't let it be you. And be really careful of those impulse buys at checkout. There's a reason the DVDs and the sweeties are at kids' eye level. What about, so we love our supermarkets, but what about if you are lucky enough to live near a market, for instance, um, and at the end of the, the, the working day, yep. then they're going to have stuff they're going to want to shift. You could actually do a bit of bartering. Oh, totally. I mean, that's what I do. I buy a lot of my fresh produce and actually my bread and stuff at the end of the day at the market on a Friday afternoon. I go along, stand there, and the, suddenly your cauliflowers are two for a pound. And you go into somewhere like Waitrose or Asda, they're, you know, they're two for two pound fifty. But if you don't have I mean, I don't have a market on my doorstep, so I sure. would have to go to the supermarket. But you can still find that some stuff's reduced at the end of the day there as well. Absolutely. In fact, what I've done this week is um, phone 
uh, a lot of the supermarkets to find out exactly when the best time for you to go shopping to get the bargains and we've put the information on the website so anybody wants to look at that That's but good to know. basically after seven o'clock is the tip you can look at 75 percent off sometimes people right. get really aggressive at that section don't they I they're know. like the wrestle bread. their way <laughs> in for the chicken meal that's half price i know it's true actually yes yeah, and true. that is just me but yes, if you don't right. and, and if you don't have a market close to you that's absolutely fine there are other and if you don't have time to even go to the supermarket what i want to encourage people to do this week is to try online shopping if you've never done it before so i've got some great offers for first time shoppers online <laughs>